Okay, I hope I can keep this really short. I did a video on Facebook, like a Facebook Live, and then I edited it, and I was going to share it on YouTube. And then once I got done with editing it and watching it, I realized that it was kind of confusing. So I was going to scrap it and not share it, but I worked on it so hard. Like I have images of the house that I'm living in now and the before and afters of it, and I'm kind of talking about a little bit about that, and I just didn't want to just like can the whole thing. So I thought maybe if I did a short introduction, um, short introduction, that I could share it and I wouldn't have to get rid of it. So here it is in a nutshell. That video that you're going to watch that's coming up in a couple of seconds is the Facebook Live that I did introducing a declutter month where I have this Facebook group that people could join and be a part of where we go through anything that we need to do at home together. So I'll be doing some de-junking and talking about what I'm doing and you'll be doing whatever it is you need to do at the time. Clean out a drawer, clean out a closet, a desktop, anything like that, right? And then every week we will be working together every week for the entire month. And so that video that you're gonna watch was me talking about that. So that's it, I guess. It just seems like I do so much talking in the beginning that it seems like, what are we actually doing here? So hopefully this clears that up, all right? I hope it does. And if it doesn't, I don't know. I think it's okay anyway. I think you'll like it. Um, in case you don't know, which you might not know, um, I'm doing a declutter month. I um, got a Facebook group going on for anybody that wants to join me and declutter throughout the month of March. This was a bonus that I gave to people that signed up for my declutter day live that I did. And because there were some people that wanted to join but couldn't be there live and said, but I really want to do this with you. So I thought, well, sign up. And as a bonus, you'll get a whole month of where we'll declutter throughout the month together. And so I figured I would do this right here for you. We do one session together. We're only going to be maybe 10 minutes or so. And if you'd want to join us, it's only $27. And if you're an insider, you get the 20% off discount that my insider members get. So where I am right now is in my office. Now, it's really not an office. I moved into, I live in a farmhouse, I guess it's technically, um, and it's been, it's in the middle of re being remodeled. Now we've gotten so much done. It really looked like Amityville Horror when we moved in here. It was scary. It, the whole, the house looked like a crack house, you know, it was in real bad disrepair. And so I don't have a space. I still don't have a space. Now this, where you see me right now, this is here, you're going to see the area that I'm in right now. This is, that's a spare room that we're um, working on at the moment. And this, the room that you see there, that's another room. That's the room that I'm decluttering with everybody on my declutter month because we're getting multiple carpet. This is the third floor. We're getting multiple carpet on the third floor here. And that room, that's the room where everything went as we were remodeling. So things that couldn't get put away because the closets weren't sheetrocked yet. The kitchen wasn't done yet. You know, there was no space for anything kind of thing. Like, um, I don't know, Christmas things that need to go in storage, uh, summer clothes. Everything got dumped in there. It's, it's a mess. Anyway, it's fun. It's a fun thing because, you know what, we've got to live anyway, don't we? No matter what life is like, we're going to live it the way it is anyway. We might as well figure out a way to enjoy it. Because when we look back, we wish we did. You know, we wish we, we, we're like, that time was the hardest time of my life. And then we look back at it and like, you know what? I wish I could have just enjoyed that. You know what I mean? So anyway, it is what it is. So I have, the, I have a whole bunch. I wish I could show you. It's going to be hard. I have a whole bunch. Can you see like on the floor? That's a box. There, you can see it pretty good. Um, that's a box of just some things over there is a pile of you see there's no railing on the on the stairs thing yet um, anyway there's a pile of things there there's a box of like what is kind of like office supplies I guess and then this is a 
um, I don't know what it is really. It's like a small dresser or something. I carried it up here yesterday. We had it on the like closed porch that we have. And I said, well, I'm going to need some place to keep stuff. And some of the things that you just saw were in, um, some of the things were in here. And then some of the things in a box of stuff that we ju I just didn't unpack yet. So here I am. I'm going to be working. And if you notice, you can see that I have there a few empty boxes. And you see the flowers, those are just there because I want to feel happy. And uh, so I have these empty boxes. I have this. This is for change if you find it because there's certain things that we do when we do junk. If you want it, just say, yeah, give it to me or something. Just put it in your, in the, the chat thing and I'll send you the link so that you can get the list for decluttering, what you need to do to declutter. But if you join our Declutter Day Live, you get that with it. All right, because there's certain things that we need makes life easier. All right, so can you de junk with me? Do you have anything right now that you can grab and work on? A junk drawer, uh, a drawer in, on your end table, um, the countertop, a dresser top, uh, the dining room table. Is there anything right now that you can join in with me and do some decluttering of it, right? So I'm gonna set a timer. I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes. And let's see how much we can get done in five minutes, okay? All right, so I'm going to put it on zero. One, two, three, four, five. That's five seconds, silly. Five minutes. All right, start. I don't know where I'm going to put everything. So I have to decide, am I going to keep everything too? So this is a paper clippy thing. It's probably going to go in here, but I don't know how I'll organize it in there. So I'm definitely going to keep this, and I'm going to put it in here. So I'll put this in a box so that when I get everything sorted, I'll then put it away, all right? So this is, what is this? This looks like a whole bunch of receipts. So sometimes when you de-junk, you come across a lot of things that are like detailed things, things that you have to take a lot of time with. Don't spend time on those things. Um, put the things that are like, say, piles of papers or something like that aside because those things take too much time. You'll be so discouraged when the timer goes off that you've gotten so little done. Those things can get done when you're sitting watching television. Maybe you just, you know, have some downtime, right? That kind of thing. That's when you can just take like 15 minutes at a time and go through those things when you have a lot of like, you know, just kind of like mindless time to work on stuff. All right. So now here are some USBs. It's probably going to go in here too. Um, I have another thing that I brought up here is a, a kitchen cart. These are envelopes. I'll put these in here too. I have a kitchen cart in here um, because I, we weren't using it downstairs. It was from another apartment. This is another, this is, this is a phone, um, you know, charger thing. I'm going to put this on my lap. Now, these are my checks, my business checks. So I'm going to stick these in this drawer. Uh, this drawer looks like it has paper in it. Yeah, it has paper and envelopes. So what I can do is I'll take these envelopes and I'll stick them in here. There you go. That'll probably work. They, these go to a uh, um, window, new window locks. And the reason they're in here is because the window locks were in the same room that that was. Okay, so this looks like, see now this, don't bother with it. I, is it something I need? I don't know. But I, you don't want to take the time to bother with things that, now this is obviously garbage, so I'm going to throw it out. Okay, so um, you have to have a garbage put away in another room in the house. Now, I usually will keep things like this for just like something that I know I've used for like an external hard drive or something like that. So I keep it aside for things like that. Um, because no food will ever go in it. Now here is my Nutribullet thing. And the reason that's in here, I'm going to put that, now that's going to go in another room in the house. Because in this thing, I had my recipe books, whatever they, they're called. Now these are CDs. So yeah, I keep these because even though everything's digital now, still sometimes your, your, um, your internet goes out. We had a bad storm here and the internet went out. And, um, you know, these were great that we had them for the DVD player because we had nothing. We had no uh, cable. All right. These are like office supplies. So this will go in there. Now, th this is a box that I, from a phone, I like these. I like to keep them in a drawer and you put little things in them and it kind of keeps them organized. A stapler. So these are all, um, here's another one of those boxes. 
put it in there. An old phone. Hmm. Now this I'm going to put somewhere else because I don't know what I'm doing with this. It's probably a broken phone, but I had stuff on it that I don't want to get rid of. So how are you doing? Are you working? Are you working? Are you working? I got the timer set for five minutes. For anybody that doesn't know, index cards. I am an index card fan. Love them. So what I'm doing is I'm taking everything that's in this box and I'm sorting it. Okay. Now here, these these are amazing. These are so great for um. You see, they're they're real. I think they're for like coupons or something. But if you put the months on them, January to February. I mean January to December. You use these for receipts that you have for your business or anything and you put it in that month it makes everything so organized all right so now i'm going to stop this because timer went off five minutes but i did talk in between it this box was overflowing and it's not so that's how much i got done in five minutes i'm going to look at my phone because i think i'll be able to see if there's any comments let me know if you want to keep going we'll do another five minutes if you want to i'll try not to um do a lot of stopping and talking so that we can see how much really got done in five minutes. We get so much done in five minutes. All right, Lynn said, starting to go through magazines while watching TV. Awesome. Um, I'm watching you while at work, LOL, and thinking about what I could do later. Great, and you know what you could do? This is what we're doing inside of our um, Facebook group that we're decluttering all of the month of March together is if you can't watch it live, it's fine. Because really, what's the difference? You really don't know it. Except that if you ask me a question right there and then, I won't be able to answer it. And you watch when you can. You watch the replay and you de-junk then. We did one hour yesterday. I, I schedule it for a week, right? And so, we, so we have Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday scheduled. Next, and then Sunday, I'll put up the next schedule for the next week. We had one hour. We did one hour on um, Wednesday, which was yesterday, Friday, we'll probably just maybe do 15 minutes, right? Maybe half hour, who knows, right? But you never ever you want to go past one hour without taking a break, right? But we go through all of that. So I'm going to set my timer again. Hello, Jerry, I just saw that you're here. Jerry is part of our um, monthly, Facebook monthly, or this month's Facebook group. I've never done it before, but I just think it's going to be so much fun. Very productive, very helpful. And if anybody doesn't know about me and what I do, I think it's a great way to find out, get a lot of value, get a lot of help, and then find out if it's the right fit to join my course, TTU. It's a win, win, win. So I'm going to do start again for five minutes. And this time I'm not going to stop. Now this is, um, uh, oh, it's a, uh, yeah, something that you do when you listen to things. Now here are this is a these are magnets that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. They used to be um, in an office area where I was before. Another one of those those divider things. These are golden. If you could keep like one in the car and have it, well, you can, I think you can get them in the dollar store. Um, I'd love to have them maybe branded to the Tidy Tutor. That would be great. Um, here's some. Uh, I don't know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't really keep them. They're you know wireless mouses. Here are some little notebooks that could go in there. A hole punch that could go in there. I have a ton of or a whole bunch of little pencils. I give these out to my granddaughter every so often. Love having these around. Okay, so these will go in there, but I'll probably put them in something else. I don't know. Maybe not. Here are some. This is a lid to something that I'm going to assume I don't need, so that's going to go in the garbage. And now I have some random wires, which I'm not going to go through now. So I'll just stick them in there and they'll eventually go in one of those small boxes that I have in there. A couple of erasers that I'll keep. Um, this is some clear tape I'll trash. And here are some, that's another piece of garbage. Here are some, some sticky notes. Here are some receipts. Remember what I said about if you come across any receipts or any papers or anything like that, Put them aside. Don't mess with them now. It takes too long. Okay, so this, there's a pencil. This is done. It's empty. See, so that just thrills me. All right, now it doesn't mean that what was in there is away because it's not, but at least it's sorted. All right, now I have another pile. We're still going on our five minutes here. We have another pile. Here is a, a what's it called? Doo -doo -doo, you know that thing. I don't know if I'm going to keep it though because I don't know. Do I really use that? Sheet protectors. We use these in TTU. They are vital. I love them. I'll put them in there because that's like it's just kind of like office supply things that I um, I have. 
here is a notebook that I'm going to put over here with these things because I have like notes in there. If I'm never going to use that, I'm going to get rid of them. But I, I want to look at the notes first. Here's another notebook with notes in there, aptly known as notes. So this I'm going to put here because I'll look through it, okay? And these are some, this is some things I remember. I had these for an event. I had a live event with Pam Young. Yes, Pam Young herself. We had a luncheon. It was amazing. Anybody who came, oh my God, we had such a great time. And anyway, we did that. I think it was two years ago now. So I gave out these really, really fun, um, what are they called? Folders. And I guess I just have them randomly hanging around. So I'll put them with this clip there. All right, so that's going on there. Now I have a basket here. Now this, um, Lucy, obviously, is my granddaughter's where she came up there and hung out with me. And there it is. I'll have to bring that down. Let's see, how's the time going? Uh, let's see, I really shouldn't even look, but let's look anyway. We have a minute and 14 seconds to go. Now what I use this for, I use this for my um, my like spiritual kind of um, routine, you know, like my, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm wasting time, but that's what I use it for. This goes on my light. You know, I have like a light that shines on me sometimes so that I don't look, you know, too dark. And this goes over it so that, and I have a sock in here. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Even the tidy dude are just stupid shit. I have no idea how that happened, but I'm going to just throw it downstairs so that I get it in the hamper. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. Um, remember this, remember this, okay? We're not after perfect, we're after happy. That's all. Like, don't feel embarrassed if you have like a sock in your spiritual basket, you know? What happened most likely? Most likely, you know, it's one of those little, what do you call it, socks? Most likely it fell off and I didn't realize it when I picked it up, that's where it went. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I didn't even put it in there. This actually gets carried with me places. So if sometimes I like to sit outside and read the Bible and journal. All right, time's up, all right. So I, I emptied one box, we know we did that. I got rid of an entire pile that we had. I had a pile right there. It's gone, right? And I started my little basket. So um, that's another five minutes. So really, some one of the things that we have a war perception of is freaking time. And we don't realize that things don't take as long as we think they do. If you have five minutes, you can get so much done. Little pockets of time. When your coffee's coming down, when tea is about to boil, when your computer is booting up, when you have some, uh, when you're microwaving something, Take that time and do something. You can't believe how much you can get done in those little pieces of time. It's like it's like you're stealing from, I don't know, like from fate or something. No, not that. I, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is that life goes by. Time as it goes by, we can't ever get back. So if five minutes goes by and we, you, we did something during that five minutes, it's like we stole time in our advantage. Because whatever we did there, we don't have to do later. And we can spend that time some other way. It's it's just, I don't know, I think it's brilliant is what I think. Even though I'm giving myself some credit here, all right? So anyway, I take this with me often and other places. That's why I say it's a good idea to have like a... Oh, God. oh, I know, a ritual, that's the word. So if you have like a spiritual ritual or any kind of ritual that you do in the morning... You know, keep all of those little things in one spot so that if you want to go out to the porch or out in the yard with it, it's easy to grab. If you want to go and sit down in the kitchen with your coffee, you could just take it with you. But one of the main things for this is that you keep it somewhere. You know, you keep it. You know, this is where it belongs. And so, like, say you homeschool, right? Have some things for your kids that are, in, it's like a little station, you know? I'm not talking about any of that ridiculous crap that you gotta like put up shelves and get all these baskets. Make it work for you. I'm not saying that putting up shelves is wrong. It could be great. But sometimes we make things so much more of a big deal than they have to be, right? We have to do things the way we tick. If we try to do things the way Martha Stewart likes them, your sister likes them, your born organized friend likes them, we end up living not authentically to who we are and trying so badly to do things right when in reality there is no right. What you want is right. Now after this is over, I'm going to um, upload it or download it, whatever, and I'm going to edit it 
and then I'll send it out as an email to anybody that's on my email list because everybody isn't going to see this and so some people will see it as email also there's some people that follow me that are not part of Facebook and I'll put it on YouTube as well so it's a beautiful beautiful thing um, let's see Lynn said Kathy the event with Pam was so much fun that's right Lynn you were there and I've got an amazing picture of us together with her it was great and then we had breakfast in the morning remember you met us for breakfast it was so wonderful um, Lynn said yesterday was awesome it propelled me to do more beyond the initial hour it's great it's great 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 if you're not on my email list you want to get on my email list okay go to the tidytutor.com my website it looks like a child did it I really apologize but you can still put in your name and email and you'll either get my book for free I have that available there or you get my tips one type of tip a day for 10 days and if you do that then you'll be on my email list and when I send something out you'll have it so you if you do that and you're on my email list then you'll get this recording and when I have something going on you'll find out about it so if you're on YouTube watching this on YouTube right now then you can go to my website as well and subscribe if you are interested in my declutter month it's only 27 bucks for the entire month we will do it be doing it all throughout March all right so I'll put the link in this thing if you want to be involved in that okay all right I'm gonna sign out now bye everybody love you you have no idea Got bugs called the bug eye. You cook bacon apple pie. If you show your picture, tear clean or clean my underwear. These are the things we do. The house is a mess with all the junk. Your sink's clogged up with dinner time gunk. You pick up the phone and call.